Hello, hello all. So today, I'm doing a nurse role play since it's been a while. And uh, I'm going to follow it up with a t-shirt review for my buddy Workless. Um, I got one of his t-shirts that I'll have to remember to link in the video description below, below, below. Um, he just has some nice shirts, especially if you play RuneScape. So we'll get there. Let's start with the nurse role play, though. Hello, and welcome to the ASMR clinic. Can I get your name, please? Hey, Quartz. Glad you could make a ASMR stream. Can you spell that for me, please? Okay. And your date of birth? took this pencil just for tonight because I like the sound of an actual pencil like a number two like this just two more things to confirm um, your address please well I bought it myself Quartz, but and the zip code okay. I figured but and then the best phone number. If only I could get that, uh, that level that fast, Quartz. So you had a concern about a lump on your right ear? Is that right? Okay. Okay. So tell me about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, well, okay, let's first do some vitals, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and clamp this down on your finger here, and that's going to take care of the blood pressure test and the pulse test. And, um, unfortunately, the ASMR clinic does not have to report to court, so. Alright, so it's going to clamp down here. Let's just let it do its magic. Okay. Yep. Things are looking okay. 120 over 80. Hey, Jonathan. And your heart rate's a little high, but I know you've said you get a little nervous at the doctor, so that's why you come to the ASMR clinic to relax. Okay. And then go ahead and say ah so I can take your temperature. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Looks good, too. Yes, we always give lollipops at the end of your appointment. You should remember that from your last one. So, next, I'm going to use this stethoscope here. Just listen in at your breathing, okay? Make sure there's no obvious issues there, okay? All right, so I need you to breathe in and breathe out. Good. In and out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In and 
one now. Good, good, good. One more here. Good. Perfect. Everything's looking good so far. Okay, let's put that down here so it's not over my neck when I come in a little closer here. So how long ago did you notice this? Okay, maybe I'll wait to put on the glove then. Let me just get a little feel from it. Don't worry, I'm, I already washed my hands here. Um, I just want to get kind of a, a first feel before I put on the gloves. That might kind of get in the way for some of it. So let me just feel this side first. And you don't. Okay, no tenderness on this side. This, this, this side. Alright, so now let's. So up here. Oh, okay, I feel it there. Right there. Alright. Right there. Hmm. Okay, let me get a little bit closer. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel that there. Um, is there any any tenderness? I'm gonna touch it right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Hmm. Again, just to be sure. Hmm. Okay, let me jot something down here, and then I'll get the gloves on for bit of a deeper look. I might push a little hard on both sides. Let me know if the pain becomes too much, but it shouldn't be too bad. Mm -hmm. And while I'm doing this, just make sure you take a deep breath in for me. And out, because we want you to relax, okay? That's one of the goals here at the ASMR clinic. We give quality care, but I also want to make sure you get relaxed. Okay, I'm going to continue my palpitations here. I may come up a little closer. This is going to involve both sides, okay? Now I know you're only feeling it on one side, but before I send you to an ENT, <clears throat> sorry about that, an ENT or in for an ultrasound. I want to make sure I have all the relevant data. Okay, so I'm going to do some palpitations here. So first this side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the side that's bothering you. Does that hurt right there? Not so bad. Maybe just right there. Hmm. Any other pain associated with it? No. Any problems sleeping? Not just recently, but since you noticed this. We want a long pattern, not just, you know, the last couple days. Okay. Mm. See, I still kind of feel something on this side too, but you're not, you're not feeling the same kind of pain. Let me jot that down. 
for the ultrasound specialist. Have you been getting dizzy at all? Okay. And have you been getting headaches, particularly at night or in the morning? One more look here. Okay. Hmm. It's very odd. Because I am kind of feeling a similar spot there. So my preliminary, hmm. Mm -hmm. my preliminary idea here is it's not anything to worry about since I am feeling it on both sides it may just be clenching more lately and it's affecting that side more um, could be a lot of things but I'll leave that to a specialist uh, I have one last thing I want to check but it looks like no matter what I will be um, referring you to, he's excellent, our ENT doctor here at the clinic. Mm -hmm. And just to be sure, though, he'll probably um, take care of everything for you. I'll also refer you to our ultrasound labs, okay? Just to make sure you're completely at ease with everything, okay? And one last check here. I'm going to Let's take a look inside the ears themselves, okay? Just to make sure you don't have some sort of ear infection on that one side. And it's completely unrelated to the tenderness in that spot. Okay. So first, I'm going to check out this side. Okay. And you said no dizziness, right? Just to be sure, I'll still do a bit of a eye test in a second here. Let's look. Look straight ahead. Okay. And let's also check out the other ear. And then you can get that lollipop quartz. Hmm. That is interesting see that. Um, it does seem to be some tenderness or redness on this side, which would definitely, definitely make sense. I, uh, again, we'll do another role play as the ENT guy, but Having a feeling it's definitely something more in, in the ear than that spot. Hmm. Yeah. Which is a good thing, certainly. Um, and then finally, keep your eyes open and looking straight ahead. Yeah. Yep. Also no issues on that side. Um, go ahead and... Tell me when the light goes out of your vision. Okay. Good. Got it. Awesome. So, like I said, it's looking okay, and it might just clear up, but the fact you've felt this lump for a while and you said it's tender time to time, I'm still gonna write this referral here, okay? For the ENT, who also is me, and the ultrasound labs. Let me go ahead and sign those. Any other uh, questions or concerns at this time? <laughs> 
I get being worried about it, but I, I wouldn't fret. Everything's seeming okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's just at most you might need some antibiotics or a drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My biggest advice would be to make sure to relax. 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 Well, that's the end of the role play, and uh, yes, we cannot be held responsible for any fallen ears. Now, normally I would switch to whispering now, but I'm doing, I mean, it's like a review. What's up, Moose? But, um, in many ways, it's kind of a role play, too. Um, I bought a shirt from Workless, so, well, let me first. Don't worry, you're not about to see see nothing here, but you might when I change into Workless's shirt. This nurse scrubs are kind of uh, tight. Okay. So, you see this raggedy shirt? See this? I've worn this a bunch on stream, right? Like, barely. I always get triggers from that. Kelly Belly does that, right? See, it barely even stays on, you know? It doesn't even wrap around my neck. It's a mess. Probably sitting here watching, like, wow. I'm watching this streamer with such a raggedy-ass shirt. What a lame -o, right? What am I doing watching this? Well... That shirt will no longer be around because I now have a workless shirt. It's got a great fabric, right? Made in the finest sweatshops at your local private prison. It's got this awesome old school RuneScape font, if you're familiar with it. Right, it looks just like it, right? You see that? It even makes great sounds. And again, that's like the font in the game, you see? It just feels so nice. It's got a great fabric to it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, here's the part where, where it's going to uh, possibly be a little exposure. Let me just change my shirt real quick here. So then I can model the the work list. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funny timing, hi Jay. See this? Yep. Look at that. Wow. Just wow. I know, see it fits perfect, right? You see that? Mm-hmm. 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 It's supposed to be modeling. And uh I mean just again compare it to this utterly used and abused, like it can't even like hold up straight. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Rags. Rags be gone. So you'll no longer have to think, wow, what am I doing watching this raggedy streamer? You're now going to say, wow, look at that cool RuneScape font. Look how like nicely like framed it is, too. Like you said, it fits well. He does have a couple other styles, too, for sale, and I'll link it in the video description on YouTube. But... That's uh, that's it. I will be wearing this more regularly for the RuneScape days. Good old Workless. He's he's been a good supporter. Um, but yeah, that's really it with that. Um, he and it's vlog time, so it's perfect time to ask that. But um, 
He is actually. It kind of blows my mind how known he is. Um, largely, that's just because he's always hosting. Um, which, for those who don't know, in the game you can do this very expensive, very difficult, very click-intensive skill called construction to get a house where other people can come in and kind of teleport around faster. It's just very convenient. So he hosts um, on World 330, for those of you who play, because he's always on, and he uses these dumb advertisers, but that's a whole other topic. Um, he definitely is known. So while I do a whispered vlog for the rest of the time, this was one of my gifts. Um, so I figured it'd make good triggers. Um, sometime either this weekend or next week, I'm going to go through all my gifts. This was a gift to myself, so clearly I was loving it. Yeah, he's, he's something. I don't know if he's an icon to anybody. I think he likes the mystery. And wasn't it you, Quartz, right, who asked the other day the two classic questions of how much money he makes with donations and whether he's a group of people. I think he loves the mystery around him. And now I'll be walking around in public with this, right? And someone's going to stop me and say, RuneScape font, or workless. Dude's crazy. Where can I get his merch, though? It's nice that this one has these little rocks, but... Kind of make some intense sounds. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, you're, you're good, of course. I think, again, he likes that so many people ask about that. But at least in his situation, um, I'd say it wasn't just for the donations. I think it was so he could focus on some other things he needed to do while still make some GP and, you know, sort of play the game and chat with people and troll people and stuff. Um, so, yeah, the vlog. Um, I tried some absinthe for the first time tonight. I didn't do it very properly. Budwinski would be disappointed. Um, just one drink of it. But I do see how it got the stereotype or reputation as being like a psychoactive drug. I guess has been what's happened to my hair after I changed the shirt um, which I had thought was true but I guess it's mostly debunked now that it's not really like a hallucinogenic any more than any other strong alcohol would be however it is definitely, un yeah, the alcohol. It is undeniable. That's, yeah, I was going to say it's kind of like a medicinal vibe. It's undeniable that that would be a great medicine for um, when you have a cold. Because my whole mouth and tongue... got numb. I could have used that last week. And 
and um, it definitely has kind of a wild buzz to it, kind of like how wine and um, like tequila and gin kind of have a bit of a unique craziness to them. So I see where it gets its reputation. Yeah, I was reading about that, and I could see that, I mean, like, the flavor is so intense, but I could see that as, like, a palate cleanser or, yeah, a good way to kind of um, prep for your usual bedtime ritual. Um, yeah. 30-day absent challenge. Um, I wasn't in love with the taste, so... I don't know if I would be up for that. Not a big licorice guy, or even the like flowery taste that a lot of that, uh, like, there's some Argentinian, Italian um, alcohol that I tried that had quite the uh, flowery, flowery taste. as a child to do it. But anyway, since it's a long weekend, even though I won't be able to do an extra stream Sunday because of that family thing, I should for sure have extra Kingdom Hearts time on Monday, which Lord knows with how long that game is, we could use that extra stream. I'm thinking like two hours extra even. Just if you like Kingdom Hearts, tune in. We're going to crank it out. But hopefully, though not surely, I'll have another extra stream either Saturday or Friday night. Um, that'd probably be RuneScape or going through my presents I got for Christmas. So yeah, hopefully one Friday or Saturday, and then for sure one extra stream. Well, we actually already started it on Monday, Courts, and I think it's going to get smoother from here. The beginning's just so many cutscenes, and before there's really, like, a solid plot. It's not so much dreading, it's just that I realized, like, I kind of put it at the same caliber as Abe's Odyssey and Super Mario World and Crash 3. Like, I thought Crash 3 was going to take a long time, only took maybe, you know, seven or eight hours, um, and I was gonna even include, like, Final Fantasies and Legends of Dragoon, or Legend of Dragoon type games in that poll, and now that, uh, Kingdom Hearts got picked, I'm kinda like, wait, that was right next to Resident Evil Survivor, which is, you know, you could beat in, like, three hours, um, so anyways, what I'm thinking is in the future, I'll do the polls based on, like, length of games. So, like, Resident Evil Survivor would be up against some of the viewer's choice ones, like Silent Hill. Um, what was the other one that was just requested the other day? What Silent Hill has been a big hit? I can just play on a day off for in only three weeks or four weeks while still continuing the kind of longer stream. Yeah, like a Dark Souls is uh, 
SIM card. Luckily the people were nice. Okay. Well, like I said, I may have an extra ASMR stream this weekend. I'm excited to do a, like, two-person doctor one with Michael, like a doctor and patient. Um, this weekend won't work because he'll be soon, so for sure, extra Kingdom Hearts on Monday, and uh, potentially some extra ASMR of RuneScape tomorrow or Saturday. Maybe that can be the raffle win. If you're an ASMR person, you can pick that, um, like an hour-long one. This was, I was hoping to do an hour-long one tonight. for sure. I'll see you guys on Monday for lots and lots of Kingdom Hearts. So, appreciate you guys and see you guys soon.